Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another edition of Lightest and Best, where we investigate various knife makers and look at their lightest and best offerings. This is a Spydeco Southern that has been modified to become lighter and better by knife maker Kevin Smock. The Southern was Spydeco's first attempt at a flipper design. It was made in conjugation with custom knife maker Brad Southern, and it had some complaints. It was too large, too heavy. Some people felt the G10 scales that were brown were ugly, the blade shape they thought was ugly, and the thumb hole was inaccessible. Then along comes Kevin Smock. He wanted to make the blade shorter because he lived in a state where you could only carry a three inch blade, so he made it a sub three inch blade. He had some other changes, he improved the handle scales, and he pimped out his own knife. His friends liked what he did, and so they asked him to pimp out their knives, and then their friends asked to pimp their knives, and before you know it, he looks up and he's doing a lot of business with his hobby. Later, he started making his own designs, and starting in 2015, he became a full-time knife maker, and he no longer does pimp jobs. He's too busy with making his own customs and mid-techs. Well, let's talk about the specifications of this uh, smock modification of the Southern knife. The blade length is 2 inches and 7 eighths. The original Southern blade length was 3.46 inches. So Kevin Smock shortened it 0.585 inches. The handle length on the modified Southern is 4 inches. The original Southern was 4.5 inches. So Kevin shortened it half an inch. And the total knife length now is 6 and 3 quarters inch. The original Southern was just a hair shy of 8 inches. So there was an inch and a quarter taken off by Kevin Smock. The weight is 3.3 ounces. The original Southern weighed 4.1 ounce. So there was a reduction of 0.8 ounces in weight. The blade is a CTS 204P carpenter steel that Kevin Smock has acid stone washed. Looks beautiful. It has a sheep foot design with a high hollow grind and the crown spine has been polished after the acid watch. The change Kevin made is that he shortened the blade as I mentioned by almost 0.6 inches he rounded the spine before it had sharp edges and he rounded the crown of the spine as well as uh, lessening the jimping. The two odd looking humps uh, on the spine, one was over the thumb hole and another was more distal at the mid knife, were smoothed out by Kevin Smock also. And as I mentioned, he softened the jimping and added the acid stone wash to the blade. The method of deployment for this knife is twofold. One is by flipper. It flips hard, flips fast, and needs no wrist action whatsoever. And since there's better access to the thumb hole, you can also easily uh, open it with the thumb hole. This was difficult before in the previous uh, original version of the Spider, Spider Co. Southern. The handle is micarta. It has skeletonized titanium, antiqued to the same color as the micarta on the show scale. The handle scales are asymmetric. The lock bar scale is 3.4 millimeters and the show scale is 5.3 millimeters, a full 56% thicker than the lock bar side. What changed when Kevin Smock did his modification was he changed the ugly brown G10 scales and over travel stop to micarta and note that the over-travel stop is a matching micarta. He antiqued the lock bar to be similar in color and form to the show side scale, and he shortened the overall length of the handle a half an inch from 4.5 to 4 inches. He cut off a lanyard hole and the standoff. Currently there are two standoffs. Previously there were three plus a lanyard hole. The pivot of the knife runs on caged bearings and functions very well. The lock bar is made of titanium without inserts, and the over travel stop, as I mentioned, is functioned by this micarta attached to the pivot. There's cutaway on the show scale that has three grooves, and this uh, was matched when they made the titanium clip that I'll talk about later. Let's talk about that clip. It's a custom titanium 3D machine clip with three grooves cut to match the lock bar relief cuts. It's a right hand tip up carry only. 
I'm going to show you the original clip so you can get an idea of what it was. It's a simple stainless steel thin clip that was a spring clip. So the knife got quite an upgrade with Kevin Smock's modification. The ergonomics of the knife feel really great. There's a cutout on the show side so that you can more easily release the lock bar and this provides a good place to put your index finger. It's a good four finger hold on this knife. So what are my overall impressions of the Smock modified Spider Co. Southern? They're all very positive. I can't even think of any opportunities for improvement. All the things that were wrong with the Southern seem to be improved by Kevin Smock. The ugly brown G10 scale and over travel stop were upgraded to a micarta and even he even antiqued the lock bar side to match the micarta scales. The blade was shortened to be more EDC friendly and the shape was improved. The cheap looking stainless steel spring clip was upgraded to a beautiful 3D milled titanium clip with the same design elements as the lock bar. The hardware before was a shiny silver and it got anodized to a beautiful copper color. He did all these modifications while still maintaining the wonderful Spyderco Southern flipping action. Unfortunately, he's not doing these modifications anymore to the Spyderco Southern, so you have to pick them up on the secondary market. If you can do so, I recommend it.